All right, we talked about what you should charge for your work. Now we're gonna talk about the second part that really kinks everything up. What can you charge for your work? The problem a lot of people, when they ask how much they should charge, is they don't like the number that they get. So check this out. Let's say that you're a beginner and you're gonna pay yourself $10 an hour. Let's say we're gonna make a single S hook. Well, if you're a beginner, it may take you an hour to make that S hook. Well, that's kind of a problem because if you factor in the steel and the gas that you've spent on it, you may have a $15 S hook that still looks kind of, well, poopy. So if you stack that S hook up against somebody, somebody's from a professional shop, they may have a very intricate, beautiful S hook for $5 and your crappy S hook is $15. And that's a problem. And that's what brings us to what can you charge? Now, you can always look at other Smith's work and get a general idea for a range of things. At my shop, an S hook's $5. If I do a little quarter inch thick dinner bell, it's $10. But here's the, here's the trick. There is a limit. This is why I don't do a lot of knives because in my shop, the loaded rate, which means basically factors in labor, uh, expenses, all that kind of good stuff, is about a hundred bucks an hour. So if I'm working on a very expensive architectural piece and I spend eight hours on it, then my general guideline for pricing means that that work for that day was $800. To do a nice professional knife, it takes me eight hours, not including my materials. So that means that any knife I do, even if it's just a standard hunting knife and not Damascus, needs to start at $800 to make what my shop normally makes. That's an issue, and that means that not everybody in South Georgia is going to be beating down the door to come pay $800 for a knife. I would never pay $800 for a standard hunting knife, so that's an issue. So the problem is, is that when I make knives, I always lose money, and this is what you've got to understand as a beginner, is that your time is going to be the problem. You're not going to be able to make $10 an hour. In fact, when you figure everything out, you're probably going to be making a dollar if that. I know that's exactly what I couldn't stand because when I first started in actually figuring what I should charge, yeah, I was making like 30 cents an hour because I was so slow and I sucked at it so bad. So this is one thing to keep in mind. Again, there's what you should charge and what you're going to get. Make sure that you keep these two exercises separate. It is important to understand both of them. Do not shy away from what you should charge because that gives you a place to measure from. That gives you a guideline on how you improve. As you get better as a Smith, your speed will improve, your quality will improve, and you'll see that dollar per hour number start going up. It's an excellent way to figure out how you're doing as a Smith.